Hey there, CJ Matheson. So this is the study sheet for your test on Monday. You can think of it as a study guide. Uh, you will see all these different types of equations um, on your test on Monday. So uh, remember when adding and subtracting one-step equations, remember remember your rules of S, S, A, K, or same signs, add, keep the sign, or D, S, S, L, different signs, oops, subtract, and we say actually D, S, S, M, um, different signs subtract keep the sign that has more. Um, so the first thing you want to do is draw your tetris. Because it's negative I add 5 and then this is an example of a DSSM, different signs more. This is 0, bring it on down you get x is equal to negative 12 and notice how I have both 12 and negative 12 on there. Yeah, the test on Monday will have answers that are on there that will kind of try and me trying to trick you uh, unless you know your integer rules. Uh, also, you're going to need to check. Uh, so the first part of checking is just rewriting the problem as exactly as is and then plugging in your answer. So plug in answer. Um, that's in the second step. So we have negative 17 is equal to negative 5 plus negative 12. Now do math and that's negative 17 is equal to, is negative 5 plus negative 12 negative 17? Yes it is, um, because this is an S-S-A-K, same signs add keep. Alright, good. Uh, one step with multiplying and uh, dividing. Uh, here um, you have this problem which is a over 5 equals negative 8. Um, so if you see division or it looks like a fraction right we need to multiply and you multiply by the exact denominator all right so not by negative 5 here but by 5 so times 5 on both sides times 5 on both sides and here you're talking about different signs negative and same signs positive all right, so these cancel out. I'm left with A is equal to, and this is a DSN, different signs, negative. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. And notice how I have 40 on there as well. So you've got to be prepared to know your integer rules. Uh, to check it, again, all you're going to do is write out the problem. 8 over 5 is equal to negative 8. Um, exactly how it was. You're again going to plug in your answer, negative 40 over 5 equals negative 8 and then you're going to ask yourself is negative 40 divided by 5 negative 8 and you can just write that down is negative 40 divided by 5 equal to negative 8 and the answer is yes it is because we get negative 8 equals negative 8 checked right um, so now we have a two-step uh, equation with division uh, here, you remember, it's Tetris. Um, add um, a negative or add a positive to both sides. And then divide. All right, so I'll start off by drawing our Tetris. There we go. We we'll probably want to say plus a negative here. Did in red so we know it's a negative. And then you always want to put plus sign. So plus a negative 10, plus a negative 10, right? These cancel off. This is an SSAK. So we get negative 16 equals negative uh, 8N. Drop that down. So now I finish it off by dividing by negative 8. Divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8. These cancel off. I get N is equal to a positive 2 um, because we have an SSP there, right? Now to check, it's very simple again. You just write out the problem. 6 is equal to 10 plus negative 8 n and then negative 6 is equal to 10 plus negative 8 and then plug in your answer. In this case your answer was 2 and then you're asking yourself, okay, is negative 6 equal to uh, 10 plus this gives us negative 16 
And then is negative six equal to, what is 10 plus negative 16? Well, that's a DSSM, different signs subtract, keep the sign that has more. So 16 minus 10 is six, and we had more negatives, negative six. So yes, we are correct. Um, all right, two-step multiplying. Again, we see that division or we see that fraction, so we know we're going to multiply C fraction no, you will eventually multiply. This is inverse of um, division, right? Sorry, sorry. The opposite of division is multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we have a two-step equation. We first add, always add, and we're adding negative three to both sides because we want to make that zero. Those cancel out. This gets dropped down. We have m over seven equals two. This was a DSSM, different sign subtract. And then we finish it off by multiplying both sides by seven, times seven, times seven. So m is equal to, sorry, m is equal to 14, All right? To check, again, you just write the problem. Three plus m over seven equals five. And then the next step is to plug in. So three plus 14 over seven is equal to five. Then you wanna do some math, right? So does that give you five? So three plus this gives you two equals five. And then is three plus two five? Yes, we know that five is equal to five, right? Good. Uh, Two-step fraction again. Since we see that fraction, we need we need to multiply. So your first step on this is going to go ahead and say times seven on both sides. Those cancel out. This whole thing gets dropped down. So m plus four is equal to negative fourteen. This was a DSN. Different signs, negative. You then go ahead and draw your tetris. You're going to add negative four to both sides because this is already positive. Um, this right here is an SSAK, same signs add, keep the sign. These guys cancel off. M is therefore equal to negative 18 C. All right, to check this, same as usual, M plus four over seven equals negative two, being very careful that you copy that problem exactly how it was. Plug in your answer, negative 18 plus 4. Sorry, one second. Negative 18 plus 4 over 7 equals negative 2. Um, and then what is negative 18 plus 4? It's negative 14 over 7 equals negative 2. And then obviously this is a DSN, different signs negative. So negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2 is equal to negative 2. All right, that's it for part one.